Hey guys, it's Alan Stein here at the Elite Guard Training Live Camp, and I'm really excited to do the performance portion of this camp. And the entire reason that we do it is twofold. First is, we want to help these players bulletproof their body. We want to protect their ankles, their knees, their hips, so we work on strength. We work on deceleration, we work on landing, we work on movement efficiency. The second reason that we do this at this camp is to improve their performance, is to make them more explosive, is to make them better basketball specific athletes. So again, we're working on every facet of basketball athleticism. We're working on their balance, on their proprioception, on their ability to start and stop and change direction, on their strength, on their core, on their explosiveness, both vertically and laterally. See, performance work is the foundation to which the whole basketball player is built. If you can improve a basketball player's athleticism, then you will enhance their skills. You'll enhance their ability to shoot, pass, rebound, defend, and handle the ball, because they'll be able to do those things at a much higher level and for longer before fatigue sets in. So this is the foundation to which the entire camp is built. No, I, I appreciate the opportunity to be here, and I really thank you guys for making the commitment to be here. Um, we're gonna jump right into it because we don't have a ton of time. So go ahead and grab a partner, uh, whoever you are working with fine or if you wanna switch them up and just spread out just a little bit. We're gonna stay in this general area. I'm not a big yeller and screamer, so just make sure you can see me, make sure you can hear me. Just spread out just a little bit. You only need one ball between the pairs, so you can put the other ball back. So you need one ball per pair. One ball per pair. And everything we do will level up each time. So whoever has the ball, put the ball straight up above your head, lift your knee higher than your waist, get your toes pointed to your nose, and just hold for 15 seconds. If you need the clock, you got the clock. If you want to count, you count. One guy's resting, one guy's working. We'll flip it back and forth with everything we do today. Knee higher than your waist, toes pointed to your nose. If you're not working, make sure you're coaching your teammate. As soon as you get 15 seconds, switch legs, switch legs, switch legs first. Make sure we get both sides. Knee higher than waist, toes higher than nose. You're either working or you're coaching. Those are the only two options, working or coaching. Working or coaching. Then go ahead, switch it to the next guy. We're just gonna keep it rolling. We're gonna keep it rolling the entire time. Next guy. Knees up, toes up. Knees up, toes up. You're either working or you're coaching. Those are the only two options. Go right to it. It's 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Then you're back to the original guy. Back to the original guy, same thing. Eyes closed. Eyes closed when you're back to the original guy. Knee up, toes up. Eyes closed if it's back to the first person. As tight as you can get them. No peeking. <coughs> Knees up, toes up. Eyes closed. We'll challenge your balance. Care about the guy next to you. You're trying to be a statue. You're trying to be a statue. That's it. Get that knee up, my friend. There you go. Care about the guy next to you. Care about the guy next to you. Shoulder for five seconds, and then do the same thing on this side. So you're working for 30 seconds, eyes open, eyes open. All right, 30 seconds each guy, let's go. That's it. Chin that ball, elbows out, protect the ball. Let's have good habits, good habits. Challenge the guy next to you. Care about your teammate. Stay low, stay strong. 30 seconds of work. 30 seconds of constant tension. Once both guys have gone, hold up. There we go. Finish strong, finish strong. a boy. Push a little harder. Take him to the point of tension. And hold his ground. Hold his ground. 15 seconds. Eyes open. 15 seconds. Eyes open. Go. Just give him little shots. Quick jolts, quick jolts. Stay low, stay low, stay strong. Low and strong, low and strong. That's good guys, that looks really good guys. You guys are doing a terrific job. Low and strong, push your teammate, push your teammate. 
You got to care about the guy next to you. Care about the guy next to you. Butt down, chest up. That's it, eyes closed. Nice work, guys. Keep it up, guys. Challenge each other. A little bit lower, my friend. Everything else looks good. Stay low, stay low. Remember, if you're not the one coaching, you should be coaching your partner. So if they start to get out of form or out of technique, it's your job to put them back. Be in a position of strength. Don't let the ball move. Sit down, sit down. Excellent. And now same thing, eyes closed. One more round, ball out, batting back and forth, eyes closed. Keep them tight, go. You gotta grip the ball, grip the ball. Gotta have hard, strong mitts. Hold that thing. That's excellent, guys. Eyes closed, don't peek. You guys are really doing a terrific job. You guys are really doing a terrific job. Challenge them, but support them. When you're working, your goal is to get better. Excellent job, guys. Nice work, my friend. You look good. Good work, brother. Looking good, guys. Challenge each other. Now, you don't move yet, but I'll move. If somebody took my picture right now and flipped it 90 degrees, I would be in this position right here, which is called a quadruped position. But notice that I'm still in my athletic stance. I'm just facing down. So I'm not in a plank position. I'm not in a push-up position. If I was in this position and you flip the camera back, I'd be standing like this. So we don't want to do that. So everybody go ahead and get down in your quadruped position. Hands are directly under shoulders. Face is looking in between your hands. Legs are bent. You're on the balls of your feet. Now all we're gonna do is, you're gonna keep your hands against the ground, face looking straight down, you're just gonna swivel your hips and put your left butt cheek on the ground and pop straight back up. Then right butt cheek on the ground, pop straight back up. So we're going back and forth like a windshield wiper. Hands stay on the ground the whole time. Go ahead and count 20 of those, 10 each side. Like a windshield wiper. Pop up hard, pop up with some explosion. Once you're done, you can just sit on your butt and rest for a second. That's it, just rest for a second. Nice work, guys. Flip, hold, right back. Flip, hold, right back. All right, stick that landing. You guys are doing a great job. You guys are doing a terrific job. I know this stuff is very challenging. It's challenging from a balance standpoint and a coordination standpoint. Yep, that's it. Nice job. In front of your fingers. Kick your right leg through, left hand up, and back. All right, keep it going until you get your 20. And hand as high as you can get them, 12, 10 each side. Don't worry, we're not actually gonna be running yet. It'll be okay, we're not even moving out there yet. The first guy, go ahead and just, you're gonna lay down on your back. You can put your head on the sideline. You're gonna lay down just like I am. You're going to sit up and you're gonna make the number four with your left leg. So you're having good posture, chest up, head up, right leg straight, left leg in towards your knee, or left foot in towards your knee. So you're gonna go here, you're gonna get five of these. One, two. Remember, you're either working or you're coaching. That's perfect, perfect. You're either working or you're coaching. Sit up, figure four. Sit up, figure four. Try not to use your hands. 
when you do it, yeah, that's okay, you're doing fine. It's hard. Yeah. yeah, tuck it all the way underneath and now see if you can just drive your hips up. Yeah, if you have to use a little hand, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine, you can push off with your hand, no worries. Yeah, there you go, now you got it, now you got it. Up and running, just take one or two steps, you don't have to go far. I know this is very uncomfortable. Tell me when we get back to the first guy. Okay, down, and we're simply gonna turn as if we're getting ready to come out of the starter blocks. So I'm in almost a half lunge, left hand on the ground. So from here, it's up and turn. That's all we're doing right now, up and turn. All right, let's rock. That's good, nice work, man, great work. Great work, guys. So one, two, three, and then freeze. I don't want the ball to move, I don't want your body to sway. Keep your core nice and tight. So just my first line, go! Yep, coming back, no, keep coming, you guys are gonna do three of them. Go! 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 And hand the ball to your partner. Hard, explosive push. Being explosive is more than just jumping up and down. You have to be laterally explosive. Go! 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 The ball should be straight out in front. Arms out, there you go. I'm trying to take your upper body out of it. Go! 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 When you come to a stop, I don't want to see any part of your body sway. I want you to be rock solid from the feet to the top of your fingertips. All right, defensive slide, three of them. Go! 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 Excellent, nice job. Same thing, going slides. Go! Go! Excellent. Pivot on your right foot. You can front pivot on your left foot. You can reverse pivot on your right foot. Reverse pivot on your left foot. So you're just gonna go ahead and make a turn whichever one you want, and a hard pass. Hard pass, and then you sprint back. Yep, and then you'll go for me. So we'll go five each, five each. So everything is in a perfectly straight line. Don't look back, don't lean into it. You're in an athletic stance, you're on balance. As soon as you see the ball, take off, jump stop, perfect footwork, fire off a hard pass. And you can scoot down a little bit. We need as much real estate as we can. All right, whenever you're ready, five each. Be on balance. It's got to be a full sprint. Jump, land, and you're going to stick that landing. So you don't have to worry about jumping very far. Jump, land, stick that landing. Jump, land, stick that landing. The goal is to eliminate a second jump. Many of you will do this at first. because you'll need a couple of, of stabilizing steps. We're trying to eliminate that, but most important, get yourself to a position of balance before you do the next hop. And then freeze and hop. Stick that landing. Man, that's fucking perfect. And then get three coming back. Other foot. Want to make sure we have symmetry. And then the next guy go. Time it, time it, time it, explode up. Yeah, right back to me, right back to me. Right, go, 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 right, come on. That was a horrible throw, that was my fault, my fault. Keep going. You wanna to try to get it to bounce straight up? Straight up, straight up, explode. Perfect, nice job. Try to get the ball to bounce straight up so that you don't run into anybody. My second throw was really poor. Spread out anywhere you want. You have something external to try and challenge you to reach up and grab it. Next, we'll split up amongst the six baskets. You'll have your own ball. You're just gonna throw it off the backboard and you're trying to jump and catch it off your vertical jump as high as you can. A lot of it's going to be timing. I want you to challenge yourself and it's okay if you miss it. I want you jumping as high as you can. Two foot jump, two foot land, just get five reps. You can use any of the six backboards. Any of the six backboards, everybody needs their own ball. Just figure out how you wanna do it. We're working on our explosiveness. Boy, that's perfect. Nice shot. 
Once you've done five, hold up. Don't drift. Jump one, two into your shot. It can be left, right, or right, left, whatever you do when you're shooting. Two foot jump, go ahead, land one, two. Right to it, perfect. Five of them, five of them. And right to it, yes. Like a pogo stick, you spend as little time on the ground as possible. The floor is hot, the floor is hot. Six total, three off each shoulder, three off of each shoulder.